a significant number of those who voted for Trump were actually working people, middle-class people who are looking for a way out, given the fact that they're losers under neoliberal globalization. And they, they, they tilted toward Bernie Sanders, but the Democratic Party and its neoliberal regime marginalized him and us. And so the only alternative is this pseudo-populist billionaire with these narcissistic sensibilities and, and fascist neo-fascist proclivities, and he presented himself as caring for their situation. And so that economic insecurity, that economic neglect is very real. There's no doubt about that. And it's disproportionately white brothers and sisters, but they are suffering, and it was a cry of the heart. Unfortunately, given the right-wing populist and authoritarian orientation of Trump, he uses that kind of anguish to scapegoat Mexicans, Muslims and others, rather than confront the most powerful. Twenty-one percent of those who voted for Trump do not like him, but they feel as if they had no alternative. And we have to keep in mind, 42 percent of our fellow citizens didn't go to the polls at all. Hmm. They've already given up on the system, you see. And so the system itself now is in such a chronic crisis. And we had said before the election that Trump would be a neo-fascist catastrophe. And, uh, and, and it's very clear from his picks that he's moving in.